do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did uh, a topic which was based on surface tension as well as on the vapor pressure the both were of uh, a property of the liquid and now we are going to talk about the another property basically known as viscosity so what is that and what is this term let us know about it. so viscosity means the force of friction between the adjacent layers of a liquid is called a viscosity so this viscosity means what let me give you a short example but i have more examples to tell you and the whole explanation that that you could understand what is viscosity actually but for an instance suppose uh, when we are talking about a liquid and the liquid is in a flow uh, or we are uh, letting the liquid to flow so what will happen is the liquid will form multiple layers so above that the liquid which have the first layer and above, uh, above that the second layer is also being present so what will happen when the liquid will flow they will flow with a friction and that kind of friction that exerts between the two uh, adjacent layers of the liquid is basically known as viscosity so let me give a more explanation on that it is very easy concept to learn but let me give a more explanation so that you could learn uh, or you could get to know uh, the term viscosity more uh, deeply so suppose uh, when a liquid flows uh, it moves in different layers that is in contact with one another that is what i have uh, already or uh, i have said that whenever a liquid gets flow it flows with multiple layers or that is uh, it moves with different layers in contact with one another so now there is a force of friction between the adjacent layers uh, of a moving liquid which opposes the motion of the liquid suppose the first layer is been moving uh, towards a particular direction and as you know that the liquid is compromised with multiple layers of the liquid so again um, that liquid surface will uh, or the first layer of the liquid will have another liquid layer on it so there will be force of attraction so the above uh, uh, liquid layer will not or will resist uh, the flow of the liquid uh, to move to move forward so this kind of friction that exists between this two adjacent uh, uh, liquid layers are basically known as friction or uh, a kind of friction which is nothing known as viscosity so now uh, moving towards the next that the layer of the liquid in the immediate contact of the surface experience maximum friction in this case the surface means the one uh, uh, the liquid the layer of the liquid which is on the surface and the surface means it could be anything on which the liquid flows so the immediate or the first layer of the liquid which is in contact with the surface uh, on which the liquid get flows will have the maximum friction or we could say at that point the viscosity will be the maximum so now let us learn about the next concept uh, uh, that is related to, to this itself more in more detail that is as the distance of upper layers increases from the fixed layers the velocity also increases this will be explained uh, by me itself uh, after a few seconds so this regular gradation or this regular gradation of velocity uh, of moving uh, liquid layers from one layer to the moving uh, next layer during the flow is known as laminar flow so what is laminar flow uh, let me explain you in this diagram so this is the diagram where this uh, black strips is basically the surface or you could consider it as a pipe through which the liquid flows so suppose uh, if the liquid is flowing in a uh, specific direction uh, like from left to right this is the liquid layer or the liquid has been flowing so as you could see there is multiple layers the multiple layers are been present that flows uh, and which are present one by one in adjacent uh, manner so suppose this is uh, the first layer or the immediate layer that is on the surface that we have talked about recently so this is the immediate layer uh, which has been uh, associated or which is on the surface uh, through which the liquid has been flowing so this will have a velocity supposed to be v but the one which is above the layer which is above this surface that is when we are talking about this surface basically so this surface will have more velocity compared to that of the lower well uh, the lower layer why because we have got to know uh, we have studied right now itself that uh, during this kind of friction so what happens is because this layer is being in immediate contact with the surface this will have more friction towards the surface but 
the above layer of the liquid will not have the same friction or will not have the same kind of uh, viscosity uh, like that of the liquid like that of the layer one actually i will name it as layer one which is having with that of the surface so that means the second layer that is the layer two will have an enhancement of the maximum speed compared to that of the lower layer so this will go on increasing so as we move upward direction so again the velocity will go on increasing and talking about uh, from the above surface suppose if this is a uh, pipe through which the liquid flow again this is the layer this will be considered to be layer one why because this is the first layer that has been associated or that has been uh, frictioning uh, uh, on the surface so therefore this will be the layer one again it will have a velocity v but then uh, lower layer or you could say if uh, this is the second layer so this will have a velocity of v plus dv and again the this layer will have v plus two times of dv so as we move away from the surface as the layer moves uh, as the layer moves away from the surface so what will happen the velocity or the speed of the flow of uh, the liquid goes on increasing and this kind of flow that we could see maximum here the velocity of the liquid will be more towards the middle part so that kind of flow is basically known as laminar flow that we have recently we have studied that thing so this is nothing but the laminar flow and this plays a very vital role in uh, in the flow of a liquid uh, on the surface so this is nothing but the viscosity so the friction is being observed uh, in every layer so this is suppose the first layer again this is the friction that it would be uh, we could observe here again so there will be maximum friction towards the surface while this will be less less and it will be lesser in the middle part and hence in the middle section the liquid flows with a maximum speed when we are talking uh, when the liquid has been surrounded by uh, the surface like in a pipe suppose so now moving towards the next one yes the higher the viscosity less is the rate of flow of the liquid so this indicates that suppose the first layer that has been uh, uh, on the surface of a particular uh, thing so that will have more viscosity that means less velocity or less flow rate of flow of that uh, liquid surface so now the viscosity has been measured in the units of viscosity coefficient which is uh, nothing but mu and has unit of newton second per meter square and yes the more uh, thing is uh, characteristic of uh, suppose if the liquid is that it has hydrogen bonding and have strong intermolecular force that increases the viscosity of the liquid and moving towards the next one uh, viscosity decreases with increase in temperature suppose if we increase the temperature then what will happen the intermolecular force of attraction between the two molecules uh, that holds uh, the two molecules uh, together if we increase the temperature then what will happen is the force will get weakened and because of which the liquid would flow very easily compared to that of the ocean state so if the temperature increases viscosity decreases and hence the velocity or the flow of the liquid increases so glass is a typical example of the highly viscous liquid having a property of a solid so highest viscous liquid for example suppose if a polymer if we have and we have a polymer uh, in a solution format and we have water and as we know that water is somewhere somewhat which flows uh, rapidly when it flows through a pipe or when it flows on the surface but when we are talking about a concentrated uh, solution or when we are talking about a uh, concentrated polymer solution which is basically homogeneous suppose so what will happen the uh, viscosity of that will be more because higher the molecular weights or higher the molecules they will form more hydrogen bonding and there's more hydrogen bonding means more intermolecular force of attraction that won't allow the liquid to move uh, uh, rapidly compared to that of the uh, liquid water that we know which flows rapidly so this is basically uh, the property of the liquid basically known as viscosity a very interesting thing and uh, let me talk about glass actually glass is actually a super cool liquid it is not a solid but it is uh, having a phase of solid but actually it is a super cool liquid and we could see that glass don't move or it moves uh, when it is present in a hot uh, uh, temperature so the flow of the glass is very less which makes the glass to be called as highly viscous solid uh, or highly viscous liquid which behaves like a solid so this was a property of uh, viscosity
So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have understood the term viscosity. So share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.